I made a custom deck of cards inspired by Destiny. If you want a deck for yourself, go in at the link in the description down below. The days of Solar Hunter suffering are finally over, thanks to what I'm claiming will be one of the strongest builds for a long time in Destiny. You'll forget all about young Ahamkara's spine when you equip this build that offers non-stop healing, potent ad clear potential, and best of all, some of the fastest super gains in the entire game. And if you don't believe me, just keep your eye down at that super meter in the background footage throughout this entire video whenever you want to be mesmerized by the idea of a blade barrage every 10 seconds. So click those like and subscribe buttons if you're pumped to enjoy Solar Hunter like you used to, and let's get to it. This build is all about firing off our blade barrage super as much as humanly possible, which is exactly why this whole thing revolves around the newly buffed Shards of Galanor Hunter exotic gloves, which in addition to their already existing super refund on blade barrage hits, up to a maximum of 50%, now also grant a bonus 2.5 to 5% super energy, depending on enemy rank, on throwing knife final blows. As far as which throwing knife you'll want to use to take advantage of this new Shards of Galanor perk, Knife Trick provides the perfect combination of damage, add clear, range, and accuracy, making it the perfect choice for making the most out of our newly buffed gloves. But the other two core components of this kit are absolutely crucial to turning this simple combination into an infinitely recurring loop. And if you have seen any Solar Hunter builds on my channel in the past, you probably already know where we are going with this. The first of these is the Ember of Torches Solar Fragment, which grants you and all nearby allies the Radiant Buff, a 25% weapon damage increase when inflicting damage with a melee ability. And the reason this is so important is because of the last core component of this build, the Knock em Down Aspect, which while Radiant fully refunds your melee ability on powered melee kills, while still refunding it from the melee hit that activates Radiant initially through the Ember of Torches. And what's more is that this aspect also adds more knives to your Blade Barrage supers. And obviously, more knives means more damage. So, if it wasn't clear at this point, the core idea of this build is as follows. Kill an enemy with your knife trick melee ability to proc the Ember of Torches to receive Radiant, refund that very melee through the knock em down aspect, and gain increased super energy from that kill through the Shards of Galanor. Then, once your super is full, rip a knock em down bonus knives blade barrage at some sorry sucker to get 50% of the super back and continue the loop. That's literally the entire gameplay loop of this build, and boy is it glorious. And so is clicking that subscribe button down below if you're enjoying this build video so far. Now, just because the core loop of the build is so simple, it doesn't mean that we can't continue to add to it for even more strength, like massive throwing knife damage buffs, infinite healing, and even faster supers. We'll start filling out the rest of the build with fragments like the Ember of Singeing for increased class ability regen when scorching an enemy target. This is huge for any situation in which we fail multiple times to kill an enemy with our melee ability and therefore don't receive its refund. The first time you miss your melee while running this build, you can simply activate your gambler's dodge to get it back instantly, so no harm, no foul. But missing it again before your dodge is back up really stings. So the Ember of Sinjin helps to make sure that we always have the dodge available. Next up is the Ember of Searing, which generates fire sprites when defeated scorched targets. And the only reason we care about that is because of our next fragment, the Ember of Mercy, which grants us a restoration healing buff when picking up a fire sprite. And to make sure that restoration buff sticks around for a long, long time, we'll round things out with the Ember of Empyrean, which increases the duration of existing restoration and radiant solar buffs when killing enemies with solar weapons or abilities. The only thing I want to mention with this fragment is that it has a bit of an unfortunate, unintended interaction with the restoration buff granted by Fire Sprite Pickup on Ember of Mercy, as scavenging a Fire Sprite will always grant you two seconds worth of restoration, even if you already have a longer duration restoration buff. Because of this, seeking fire sprites to scavenge to initially acquire the restoration buff is extremely important. However, 
Once you have it stacked up through Solar Weapon and Ability Kills through the Ember of Empyrean, you actually want to do your best to avoid scavenging Fire Sprites and resetting your Restoration Timer back down to two seconds. Now to fit all of these fragments, you'll need to slot on your mark into your second aspect slot, which grants a ramping reload speed buff from precision enemy kills or instantly grants the fully stacked buff when activating your dodge. Admittedly, this aspect doesn't synergize with this build super well, since precision weapon kills are not our primary goal here, but the simple fact that this aspect grants three fragment slots compared to the two given by Gunpowder Gamble is why I highly recommend On Your Mark. Now, Sure, you could opt into Gunpowder Gamble over on your mark at your own discretion if you'd like. But in my opinion, dropping a fragment to either give up permanent uptime on your class ability or permanent healing is just not worth a souped up grenade in a melee and super focused build. As far as the rest of your kit goes, you have the choice between a healing and damage grenade, which both provide different benefits to different playstyles. In the event you really want to lean into your restoration healing buff, the healing grenade can be a great option to not only have an on-demand healing spike, but to also provide another way to receive your initial restoration buff other than fire sprite pickup. In fact, in fact, opting into this grenade can even allow you to drop the Ember of Mercy entirely to pick up a different fragment, or to drop that fragment slot entirely by switching that on your mark aspect over to Gunpowder Gamble. However, in the event that you want to lean more into damage and throwing knife uptime, you'll want to go for a damage grenade that can scorch enemy targets to give you another way to proc the Ember of Singeing. I personally like the fusion grenade the most for its high single target burst and low base cooldown, but it's dealer's choice here. A few other things that can feel awesome in this build are weapons like one-two punch shotguns to greatly enhance your throwing knife damage against tankier targets and solar weapons to give you another way to increase solar buff durations through the Ember of Empyrean. Bonus points as well if they have incandescent to provide another way to scorch targets to proc the Ember of Singeing. With that all set up, all we have left is our armor mods, beginning with two copies of Hands On on the helmet for even more bonus super energy on powered melee kills, as well as a harmonic siphon to generate orbs on solar weapon multi kills. On the gloves, you'll look to take Heavy Handed for orb of power generation on powered melee final blows, as well as Impact Induction for grenade energy refund when dealing melee damage. On the chest, it's Dealer's Choice, where you can look to take resistance mods matching the element element of enemy damage, or reserves matching your heavy weapon element. Down on the boots, I recommend two copies of Solar Weapon Surge for a 17% solar weapon damage buff while armor charged, and to round things out on the class item, you'll look to take Reaper for orb generation on weapon kills after dodging, Powerful Attraction to scoop up orbs on dodge activation, and Bomber for a kick to your grenade energy when using your class ability. Altogether, pair this up with stat prioritizations of resilience and intellect, and you have just finalized your new favorite solar build. And to get straight into the action, you can copy all of this with ease using the Mobilytics written guide or Destiny Item Manager links down in the description. Remember to pick up your card deck in the description as well. Hit those like and subscribe buttons on your way out if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.